So we're here at Greg Howe's property at the branch, which is a subcatchment of uh, the Karua River. We're here to have a field day and to celebrate a collaborative project with a group of eight landholders that local land services and Mid Coast Council put together. We just wanted to celebrate the good work that they've done with fencing off their waterways, rehabilitating their riparian areas, which involves weed control and revegetation, as well as installing their off-stream water supply for cattle to help with their farm management and uh, improve pastures and productivity. So it's something we're all pretty proud of. We've got eight landholders, we've got funding through Mid Coast Council, we've got funding through the Marine Estate, which has come through Hunter Local Land Services. We've also got funding through Landcare Australia has contributed to this as well. And then the landholders themselves who have put cash into it, as well as a lot of time. Well, we put um, probably about 1.7 k's of uh, water underground for all the water troughs. We put windmills in to pump the water, so it's all driven by air. Uh, and then we put uh, 6.7 k's of fencing in. They've managed to install fencing to protect their entire river frontage, which was around about 300 hectares worth of wetland habitat. So this is a great example of a project or a suite of projects where there's an environmental benefit or a public benefit. In this case, uh, improved water quality, protection of wetlands and riparian land. But there's also great returns for the landholders themselves. There's a real incentive for them to improve their own business, to improve their grazing management, their ground cover. I find it's working very well for us. We find it much easier to, to handle the, um, the livestock. We can handle the growth rate from paddock to paddock. What we see now with windmills and solar pumps, we can raise water uphill and run it across the contour through small contour drains and hydrate the landscape, building up the biology. So amongst the suite of beneficiaries is uh, other stakeholders like the oyster industry. So directly adjacent these landholders, there is oyster leases. So they benefit from an improved water quality uh, as well as habitat linkages to wetlands. And then downstream from here, we go into the greater Port Stephens catchment, which is a large industry for fisheries and oysters, as well as other projects through the Marine Estate Management Strategy, including oyster reef restoration. There's two core themes, I guess, that we're trying to get out of it. One is to improve water quality of the branch and the crew estuaries, and the other is to form connectivity from the, um, the port all the way up to the Barrington Tops. Working with council, uh, we were able to seal the approaches to a number of road crossings. The unsealed roads are a major contributor of sediment to this estuary. On one hand, we're working with local land services to do the pro project on these private properties to improve them but we're also improving our own council assets through partnership with local land services as well. We really want to monitor these outcomes and prove to other landholders that their on-ground management can improve outcomes for not only themselves on farm, but also other industries and the environment surrounding them. So we had Steve Lucas from University of Newcastle monitoring the water quality and he's also monitoring the vegetation condition all the monitoring is actually connected, so when we're looking at water quality in the river, we're looking at land management and we're looking at sensitive vegetation zones like salt marsh and mangroves. When we fence off cattle from these sensitive areas, we actually improve the buffer zone for water quality. The catchment itself, over time, should demonstrate improved water quality as we move forward, which in turn has linkages to the ecological system of the Greater Port Stephens area. So over the next year and coming years, we'll hopefully get a good picture of how the stock management off farm and out of these areas is benefiting these sensitive coastal wetland environments, but also improving ground cover and pasture condition on their land. It's a huge effort from a bunch of different people all coming together to produce something bigger than what we could have done by ourselves. So moving forward, we hope to engage. We want to spread that further along the catchment and engage as many landholders as we can to uptake similar works, whether it be with us or by themselves, uh, or even if it's just the principles of this improved land management practice.